Hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find the value of t that satisfies this equation? We have 2 to the power of t, and this equals t to the power of 32. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, look at it here. The bases are different, and the exponents are different. Now, what can we do? But here we have t at this particular exponent. I can decide to eliminate this t here. So in order to do that, I'll multiply this exponent by 1 over t. So I can have 2 to the power of t. And this is raised to the power of 1 over t, which equals, we have t to the power of 32. And this is raised to the power of 1 over t. So we then apply this in the slope. If you have a to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of n, this equals a to the power of n times m. So we are going to make use of this index law right here and here. So let's multiply t times 1 over t. We are going to have 2 to the power of t times 1. That is t divided by t. And this equals t to the power of 32 times 1. That is 32 divided by t. Now, from here we can see that t divided by t is 1. So we can have 2 to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 2. And this equals t to the power of, is 32 divided by t. Now, the next thing we are going to do is also to eliminate the 32 that we have here. This is 32, and we need to eliminate that 32. So for us to achieve that, we are going to multiply the exponent again by 1 over 32 this time around. So I'm going to have 2 equals t to the power of, this is 32 divided by t. I'm going to multiply by 1 over 32. Now since I have it here, 1 over 32, I can also multiply this exponent by 1 over 32. So let's go back to the same index rule of a to the power of n or to the power of n equals a to the power of n times m. So we multiply this out. 32 will multiply 1, that is 32. t will multiply 32, we have 32t. So what we are having here is 2 to the power of 1 over 32 equals t to the power of, this is 32 divided by 32t. So what happens here is that the 32 eliminates the 32 here. So what we are going to have left will simply be 2 to the power of 1 over 32 equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now we have achieved something very impressive. There is t here at this base. And there is also t here at this other denominator of the exponents. While in this other part here, the 2 here is at the base, and the 32 here is at the exponent. So what we can do is to ensure that the base and the exponent are the same, so that it will correspond to the fact that we are having the base here, and the exponents here, which are the same. That means we are going to make use of equivalent fractions. If I have this 1 over 32 here, I can simply express it as 2 over 64. Because 2 can cancel itself once and cancel 64, 32. So we are going to apply this right here. So what we are going to have is 2 to the power of 2 over 64 is equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, there is 2 here and also 64 is 2 times 32. So what I can do is I can factor out this 2 here. I can have 2 to the power of 2 and this is raised to the power of 1 over 64. 
because if you go back to that index law, you can easily multiply this 2 times 1. You are going to have 2, and you have 2 over 64. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So let's concentrate on what we have inside this bracket, which is 2 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 2 is 4. I have 4 to the power of 1 over 64 equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, the base here is still not the same as what we have here because we want them to be the two, the two to be the same. I go back to the same equivalent fractions. If I have 1 over 64, it's the same thing as writing 2 over 128. I copy out this and I insert it right here. I'm going to have 4 to the power of 2 over 128 equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now I can easily factor out this 2. So I can easily have 4 to the power of 2. And this is to the power of 1 over 128, which equals t to the power of 1 over t. So we concentrate on 4 power 2. And 4 power 2 is 4 times 4, that is 16. I am going to have 16 to the power of 1 over 128, and this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, we compare again. The base and this exponent here, they are not the same, so we copy it out again. 1 over 128, this equals 2 over 256. I copy this out, and I have 16 to the power of 2 over 256. This equals t to the power of 1 over t. So what I'm going to do is to factor out this 2 again. I have 16 to the power of 2, and this is to the power of 1 over 256, which equals t to the power of 1 over t. So what I'm going to do is to find the value of 16 to the power of 2. And 16 to the power of 2 is 16 times 16. That is 2, 5, 6, right? That's 16 times 16. So what I'm going to have here is 2, 5, 6 raised to the power of 1 over 2, 5, 6 equals t raised to the power of 1 over t. Now, we have achieved something remarkable here. This is 256. This is 256. This is T. This is T. Now, this satisfies this condition that if you have A to the power of A, and this equals B to the power of B, then you can see that A equals B. So, if you compare this, that means you can actually have 1 over 256 equals 1 over t. So we have 1 over 256 equals 1 over t. So at this point, I can decide to cross multiply. t can multiply 1, that is t. And 256 can multiply 1, that is 256. So this is our answer, t equals 256. Now the next step will be for us to insert that particular value of t right into this equation to check if we are going to have the same thing on both sides. Let me just write here check. I have t equals 256. So I'm going to insert this value for t right here. I recopy the problem. 2 power t equals t to the power of 256. So let me insert this value for t. I'm going to have 2 to the power of 256 equals 256 to the power of 256. Question mark. So I have 2 to the power of 256 equals 256 is the same thing as having. 16 to the power of 2. And 16 is a perfect square, which is 4 to the power of 2. 
So 256 is the sentience having 4 to the power of 2 or to the power of 2, which is the sentience 4 to the power of 4. So, and 4 is a perfect square, which we can express as 2 to the power of 2. That means 256 is the sentience 2 to the power of 8. Have you seen it? So we have 2 to the power of 8. And this is to the power of 256. So sorry, this is 32. This exponent is 32 from the original problem. It's not 256. So thank God that I discovered it. This is 32. This is 32. So we have 32 here. So you multiply 8 times 32. And 8 times 32 will give you 256. So we have 2 power 256 equals 2 power 8 times 2, 16, 6 over 1. 8 times 3, 24, 24 plus 1, 25, that is 256. So we have this and this, they are the same. So that means the answer, which is t equals 256, is obviously very correct. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.